The Morbe Provincial Health Authority and the Divine Word University have taken a pioneering step in establishing cooperation in clinical training for the university's final year medical students. Ten students from the Divine Word University in Medang would undergo clinical training at Lace Hangar Hospital through a MOU that was signed yesterday by the MPHA and the university. The doctors of MPHA would train the medical students of the university. What it means for Morobe PHA is that we now will have about 50 or so students coming through this organization, especially the Angao Hospital. And so we now have a luxury that we as an organization didn't have some years back in terms of uh, training. So you have, if you have 50 training doctors coming through you and you are training them, then you are now in the position of luxury to choose which ones you want to get and keep. Professor Kusma and myself on behalf of uh, our president, Professor Cecilia Nimbo, we are very, very happy to be here. So um, <clears throat> we've received a very positive response from uh, the Morobia Provincial Health Authority, the chairman and the CEO and the doctors here uh, for clinical placements of our students. The School of Medicine and Health Sciences at the University of PNG in Port Moresby was the only medical school that graduated doctors over the years. There is a critical shortage of doctors throughout PNG. The Divine Word University is the second medical school approved by the Health Department and the University Board to train doctors to address the health workforce problem. The university's head of Department for Medicine, Professor Jerry Kuzma, said the official regulations are now being developed. We are approved by the Department of Health. We are approved by all university process, quality assurance with all levels, faculty level, university board level. And we are in the dialogue and in the process of being recognized by medical board. The medical board representative visited us last year. Uh, they were happy with the, the progress of the school, basically, and uh, we in constant, you know, dialogue, uh, sending them reports about the clinical year, the last year of our students, and we'll continue dialogue until we, we kind of achieve, you know, formal regulation approval by the medical board. So that's work in progress and in mutual, you know, communication between both university and medical board. The MPHA senior doctors said they are looking forward to working with the final year medical students and to also learn from them. MPHA CEO Dr. Kipas Binga said with the MOU signed, there would be a great chance of doctors managing the district hospitals in Morobe. But doctors is anything between one doctor is to 16, 70,000 patients as I speak. That's doctors, registered doctors. If you talk about specialists like the field that I am in, internal medicine, the number gets bigger. Um, if we continue to graduate students at the rate that we are currently doing at 50 and with the population that we have, we are going to run into a big, big problem. And therefore, this MOU signifies, uh, it's a very significant uh, occasion in a sense that now we are now creating the pathway for more additional doctors to be trained. Julie Badui, OA, National MTV News, Lay.